basically America bad, the rest of yeah. the world good. Right. Well, and I think that that is the key, right? I think that that there's a difference between America makes mistakes and bad things happen, which is true for literally any country. And America inherently getting involved in things makes that a worse place. Ben Shapiro and Tucker Carlson have been beefing for quite a long time, but things are really starting to heat up once again between Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro ever since Tucker Carlson went on the Joe Rogan experience and said some things that weren't even about the Daily Wire or Ben Shapiro. But Ben Shapiro and the other members of the Daily Wire took great offense to in terms of isolationism and the, the use of the nuclear bomb and things like that. Now, now, Ben Shapiro is addressing Tucker Carlson the only way that he knows how on somebody else's podcast without Tucker Carlson present. I wish they would just sit down and have the discussion, have the debate face to face, but it seems like that's never going to happen because Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro just like to go on other people's podcasts and get asked questions about each other and then answer in, in very snarky ways like Ben Shapiro does in this one. Anyway, let's get into this clip here of Ben Shapiro addressing the Tucker Carlson beef and, and everything surrounding that. Let's check this out. The, the people that you're talking about in terms of the new isolationism, mm -hmm. people like Tucker Carlson, who's been having a go at you over many things recently um, is uh, I see in him a kind of you know I, w I went and I sold the war in Iraq to, to the people and then it was all based on a pack of lies and now America is you know his his brain sees America differently now it's quite clear and that's why he's going over to Russia and having all you know finding out that you know Russian supermarkets have shopping carts that, with these magnificent mechanisms and all the rest of it right so I guess what we're talking about is uh, you know, they're making fun of it, but there is a tremendous amount of propaganda that I think has been exposed recently and probably a ton more that hasn't been exposed yet but not just with what's happening currently right? There's a lot of propaganda that we didn't realize. Everybody always says, you know, the victors write history to make themselves look like the good guys and stuff. And we always thought that America was immune to that for some reason. At least, you know, when you're, when you're going up, growing up in school, that's what you're taught. Like America is the good guys. Like we didn't just write history the way we wanted it. We wrote it how it actually is. And, and we were actually the good guys. And I think a lot of it is overblown. Like when people say that America stole all the land from the Indians or the natives, whatever you want to call them. I, it's it's not stealing it's conquering like you, you won the land you, you conquered the land that's just how things worked back then so i'm not saying that america should give back stolen land like i'm not one of those people but when it comes to like a lot of the wars like you know i think this guy's name is constantine like he's talking about you know where they they sell wars to american to the american people with you know under a lot of guises and a lot of different false reasonings and stuff like that a lot of times it's just about money and, and power and things like that you start to realize that there's a, a lot of question marks around America's present and America's America's history, as well as you know going forward and, and the plans that they have in the future, of course. But once you start to realize all those things, if you're someone like Tucker Carlson who has bought into those narratives for the longest time, you go one of two ways going forward. You either make a lot of enemies by telling other people that they should wake up as well and realize, hey, the things that we did in the past, you know, the things that we did in Japan with the nuclear bomb and all these things. They might not have been the correct choice. And then you get backlash from people like Ben Shapiro and, and the Daily Wire and all their fans. Or you can go the other way, which is I know Ben Shapiro knows that there is question marks around America's history, America's history, but he's not going to admit it because he panders to the boomer conservative just like Tucker Carlson used to do. And Ben Shapiro chose the other direction from Tucker Carlson and where he's just going to stay plugged into the matrix and not to like I, I don't I don't mean to use like the the matrix analogy like I'm 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 out I escaped the matrix or anything like that but it's kind of the truth he's choosing Ben Shapiro is to continue to push those same narratives even though I know Ben Shapiro is smart enough to realize maybe some things that he was sold in the past aren't the best thing actually the best thing for the American people but he's not going to admit that. He's just going to say, Tucker Carlson bad. Here's why Tucker Carlson's ridiculous. Instead of actually opening his mind up to the possibility that he could have just been wrong in the past, you know, but you, you can go one of two ways. You either actually pursue truth like Tucker Carlson, or you just pursue money and pander to the boomer conservative like Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire do. Um, Frankly, I think that said more about his lack of understanding of how supermarkets work than about Russia. Well, right. that, I mean, that, was, that, that was bizarre. And was, the idea that Russia food is cheaper in Russia, I mean, it is cheaper for an American, but it's three times or five times or however many times more expensive for the average Russian. So, the, but this is what happens when people have these ideologies about. If you enjoy content like this and make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell, it really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Basically America bad, the rest of yeah. the world good. Right. Well, and I think that that is the key, right? I think that, that, 
there's a difference between America makes mistakes and bad things happen, which is true for literally any country. And America inherently getting involved in things makes that a worse place, mm -hmm. that, that, that it makes the thing bad. And that that's true for the West generally. That there will be a better place if, if Western powers were not involved. I don't, I, dude, this is just such bad faith arguing. I don't know if this is 100% Tucker Carlson's stance on things, but as a, I guess, an isolationist myself and in hearing a lot of other isolationists talk, like Matt Walsh even of the Daily Wire and Tucker Carlson as well, we are not the kind of people, like that's leftist talk that Ben Shapiro is, is using right now. Leftists and, and wokies will say, oh, America getting involved in these different wars and going in these different countries, they just poison those countries. That's not... That's not my stance, and I don't think that's Tucker Carlson's stance or Matt Walsh's stance or anybody else who's more right-wing leaning or conservative leaning who's an isolationist. I, I don't think that America is poisoning other countries. I think they're doing them a favor a lot of the time. I think America is poisoning itself by going into these other countries. That's what I think is happening. When there's so many issues happening within America itself, we're spreading ourselves so thin and focusing on so many things that shouldn't matter currently. We're poisoning ourselves by getting involved in all these things. And yes, obviously there are atrocities that America has committed in other countries, but I think a lot of the time America, America does do them a favor by getting involved. My main issue, like my main reasoning, and I think Tucker Carlson's main reasoning for being an isolationist is to benefit America, not to benefit the rest of the world. So this is this like Ben Shapiro, what he think Tucker Carlson's stance is or what he's representing Tucker Carlson's stance is, is what, is what leftists think. They think that America is poisoning other countries by getting involved in them. I think America is poisoning itself. And I think Tucker Carlson believes the same thing. In particular areas. Again, you, you, it's impossible to make the case that the West has been completely innocent or that the West has, has never made mistakes, that every place the West has touched has been amazing. That's obviously not true. But one thing that is certainly true is wherever the West seems to regress or, or pull back, things get markedly worse. I mean, this seems to be true literally everywhere. It, it, it would be... The decolonialization project has had some pretty messy consequences, as it turns out. And, and again, that's not an argument for colonialism. You can make the argument that, that the West never should be involved in those places. But there also are places on the planet where the West was never involved. And those don't seem to be like amazing places either. So you know, when, it, when it comes to foreign policy, it turns out that it's a series of bad choices and worse choices. And they're, they're very rarely good choices that have no consequences to anybody in terms of blood, treasure. Like that just doesn't exist because effectively speaking, the international order does not exist. There is no international order. That's why international institutions are a failure and a giant joke. It's, it's a fifth grade playground. And you hope that the person who's the strongest on the playground is a good person with good intentions, even if they occasionally blunder and hurt somebody innocent, rather than a really, really bad person. But there is no world on a fifth grade, fifth grade playground where there are no adults present, where somebody doesn't end up as the dominant power. And when those dominant powers are bad, the world becomes a significantly worse place. Well, it's the point I've been what Americans just like, I think the issue is Americans have just been lied to. I don't think Ben Shapiro is completely wrong in that, but the issue is Americans have been lied to and people like Tucker Carlson who have bought into these lies and then started to realize, wait, these are lies. Americans have been lied to and told from a young age, you know, just going, growing up in school that, oh, in the past we used to just conquer land for women and, and, you know, plunder and, you know, money, obviously resources, whatever the case is, like they wanted the power, the money, the women, things like that. And we're told now, like, ever since America was formed, you know, we've just been trying to, to go into these other places and, and make sure that they're stable, make sure that their their people have freedoms, you know, just, just human rights that everybody should have and stuff like that. In reality, America is no different from, you know, way back in the, like Alexander the Great, like he wanted like what power and, and resources and, and just to conquer land. America is kind of the same way. Like things haven't changed much. It's just... They've sold lies to their people to make to get make them get behind their, you know, their conquest. They're still going into these other wars and going into these other countries and installing governments there because they want the resources and, and the power of having that. They want the, you know, the, the military positioning or they want resources or they want power, whatever the case is, they're still conquest. They just have to sell lies to their people in order to get them behind it. So there's just another level to it now, but it's the same sort of conquering, just a lot more technology involved, you know, social media involved, a lot higher tech weapons than riding in horses with swords and stuff like that. It's still, they're still conquering land, you know, it's still the same thing. Let's hear out what, you know, the rest of what Ben Shapiro has to say about Tucker Carlson here though. Making for a long time, which is that when you create a power vacuum, it's not gonna be 
rainbows and unicorns is going to be Russia or China stepping into it. But I, the question I wanted to ask you, Ben, is you, you... Yeah, I think that's basically it on Ben Shapiro's thoughts on Tucker Carlson and his criticisms of Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about Ben Shapiro and his response to Tucker Carlson and everybody else who's been criticizing Ben Shapiro on the Daily Wire recently. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this whole Ben Shapiro and Daily Wire situation.